The Lions at 3-3-1 take on the Raiders in Oakland. Raiders at 3-4. They are two-point favorites at home. This is a 50-and-a-half point over-under. This seems like, and I'm taking this from the four shows we've done before this this week, our serious show, this seems like the matchup that we're trying to find pieces for. Yes, I, I both of these teams desperately need a win, and when you look at how their offenses specifically stack up against the opposing defenses, which sometimes can be a trap game, but more often than not is just a fantasy uh, output extravaganza, I would say this is the game where I expect a high score, I expect both quarterbacks to be good, the passing weapons, and, and I would include, obviously, Josh Jacobs. He's my start of the week. I'm very confident because Detroit's running game has been terrible. I love this game. This is this is the one I'm going to be watching closest this week. Yeah, Detroit's given up 131 rushing yards per game, and Josh Jacobs has looked really good to me. I like Derek Carr. He's the start of the week. Jason, you've got Matthew Stafford as the start of the week. I hope this game, you know, not every perspective yep. uh, shootout comes to fruition, but... If this is a trap game, that's going to suck. Yeah, because of the confidence that we have in these players. Where I don't have any confidence is knowing what on earth the Lions are going to do with the running back rotation or how often they'll even use the running backs in this matchup. There could be clarity because Paul Perkins was sent back to the practice squad and Trey Carson... Where he's most comfortable. Sure, but in Trey Carson, tra-la-la, uh, he is dealing with an injury. He's supposed to practice on Friday, Friday, so today. But that could open things up a little bit for for Smooches and for Ty Johnson. More, yeah. more so Ty Johnson. And and I know nobody wants to start Ty Johnson, especially after getting burned last yep. week. But he, he still was the snap leader, even though he did not have the carry lead that was Trey Carson. But he had you know 8% more snaps than Trey Carson. And if, if he's out... You get to those situations where you say, okay, would you start Trey, uh, Ty Johnson or Frank Gore? That's easy. That's Frank, Frank Gore. Gore. But you get a little lower and you say, would you start Ty Johnson or Miles Sanders? Oof. Obviously, uh, to me, if if Trey Carson you know, is, is not suited up, I would I would be on the Ty Johnson side. But what even if he after, is? If he is, then I'm staying away. If, okay. if, if, if Trey Carson is out there, I think it's a three-headed monster. And truly, I think Matt Stafford's going to say, yeah, I don't need you guys. I got I got those guys that are further away from the line of scrimmage. I'm going to throw them the ball. Almondola is filling that role as well over the last couple of weeks. I don't think it's a coincidence that you lose carry on and then Amandola's PPR value, I think he's had eight receptions in consecutive weeks. The target counts are in the double digits. He's filling the underneath role, the Golden Tate type of uh, friend to Matthew Stafford. And so he's a PPR flex play to me this week. He's far from a guarantee at the position, mm -hmm. but you could do worse. He is heating up. He is. Although Danny Amendola's heated up a lot. Ooh, in you don't want to get too yeah, hot. He will overheat. He'll break. He down. will overheat. <laughs> but the, doesn't the, he have the health bar? Yes. Yes. Isn't that Danny Amendola? That's Danny Amendola. You don't want to see a big hit because that health bar will go down once it gets to zero. Ooh. He's out of the game. Um, it's like Rex Burkett. Burkett has the same yeah, situation. He does. If he's heating up, he takes a couple days off. So, but but the nice thing is, we, you know, we joke about Danny Amendola's fragility, um, but the reality is, he was injured a couple games ago. He was in the thirty percent snap counts. Now, the last two weeks, he's been up in the mid sixties, where you know he started the year, and obviously he started the year on fire against uh, the Cardinals. So. It seems like he's just back to full health. Again, that can change in the blink of a hit. But, uh, yeah, I, I would say Danny Amendola in a full PPR is a, is a good play this week. Tyrell Williams, you can play him. When he plays, he generally scores, and he's certainly their best option. I will say I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens with Hunter Renfro over the second half of the year after the breakout performance last week. And you talk about matchups that kind of fit. The Lions are just giving up points to everyone. So... Uh, Hawkinson, Mike, you're the highest on Hawkinson this week. You think that there's an opportunity here? There's the matchup. To, I mean, the Raiders are 30th against fantasy tight ends. That's, and that's bad. It is. It, it's not the worst. It's close. But it's pretty bad. It's just, I'm with you guys. I want pieces of this game. And, yeah, Hawkinson, his floor is is porous, but matchup plus over-under 
There's a bunch of holes in his floor. Yeah, Hawkinson, that's what Mike just said. There's Hawk, so many holes inside the floor. Hawkinson was... It's like was, Swiss cheese. Yeah. You ever tried to live on Swiss cheese? That's what I Hawkinson haven't. does. Have you? No. Oh, okay. I was, don't, do not recommend... I am not a mouse. Um... Look, Hawkinson was almost my start of the week. I'm actually pretty confident Oof. in his performance, but I didn't choose him because Hawk strap. The, the, <laughs> the drop in sin that we've seen. You know, I, I think the opportunity is going to be there for him to have a good game. If he could just catch, catch the ball. The ball. Yeah. He is, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, he was actually wearing the, he's jealous of Darren Waller in this game. Uh, he was actually wearing the, the pajamas that Mike oh, wore yesterday. The flippers. So he's trying to catch with the flippers, and that's not easy. No, take him no. off, Hawk. Oh, hey, I was just doing some trades. Got some good players here. Uh, why don't you click subscribe and I'll share my secrets.